Can Microsoft's designer website dethrone Canva? Let's find out together. Welcome to this week's video, guys. We're going through Microsoft's brand new AI designer website, which just launched. And we're going through this live. First impressions looks like fairly simple layout. On the left side of the screen, we have our text box. Something that I really like about Microsoft's design, by the way, is that it combines ChatGPT with its AI, and it also heavily pulls from Dolly. All right, so we'll see in this initial prompt, I'm not that impressed by it. I asked for a Twitter post with a photo for virtual assistants, and it's clearly confusing virtual assistants people with AI virtual assistants, like Amazon's Alexa. So let's try a different prompt, a LinkedIn post talking about my new membership site. And I want freelancers, like celebratory freelancers. So first impressions, I'm not sure that these are the celebratory photos that I quite had in mind. Let's try something different, a carousel. No doubt you've seen carousels all over LinkedIn right now. And first impressions, couldn't do this one either. It did make a nice collage with four different photos, but that's not quite what I asked for. All right, let's move on to a hero website. The hero section of a website is kind of like your call to action. And I'm asking it to create a photo of a blue rocket flying over a laptop. Something else that I do like about Microsoft's design is that you can actually prompt and custom create images using Dolly 2. Copilot might be my favorite feature of this entire tool, by the way. Whenever you click on an element, whether it's a photo or text, Microsoft's Copilot comes up on the right side, giving you different ideas and different layouts for whatever it is that you're working on. And the rest of it, I think from here is, is pretty simple. This to me reminds me very much of Canva. You can make simple edits, custom design, you can pull up shapes and photos and insert videos and icons. All this is, is giving me Canva vibes for sure. But I do like that it's still an easy drag and drop, really easy to insert elements, really easy to insert different fonts, super easy to edit these things too. Uh, so, so far I am liking this. This is like Canva with a stronger AI. Now, my favorite thing about this, for sure, is that you can post your designs directly to social media accounts. So I'm going to try posting something to LinkedIn. Anytime you want to post something to your social media, you'll just connect the sites. And did I mention that this works with ChatGPT? I think I did. And this makes this even more powerful because I can input text and ask their AI to custom generate text for me. After hitting this publish to LinkedIn, by the way, boom, minutes later, my post that I created in Microsoft is on my profile. I wanted to try one more thing. I'm, I'm using Dolly again to see if I can custom create a different variation of this rocket. And again, like Canva, very easy to do things like blur or remove the background. This co-pilot, this thing is my jam, man. It's coming up with faster, better edits than I probably ever could have made. And I love this pop of color it's suggesting. So overall, big fan of this. You'll notice here I can't post to Twitter. So I'm gonna download this asset and see if I can set this up as my banner. Overall, super, super pleased with this. I, I gotta say my first impressions of the site, it's a thumbs up for sure. It's like Canva, but the fact that it uses Dolly too, as an engine to create custom photos and it uses ChatGPT to help me custom create text. I'm pretty thrilled about this. And if this were just my first impressions using it, I can't wait until I dig in. So what do you guys think? Who wins for you? Are you still team Canva or are you feeling team Microsoft? 